Hello and welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson, I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. Uh, this dog there is Polly, my chief of morale officer. And she's doing her job just splendidly. Uh, today is a, like a, could you call, call it a mild storm march, I guess? There is a storm going on and, and that's why we're not going, if we would even try to show you Reykjanes, uh, where the volcano is, there is, uh, not the volcano, the, the, where it could possibly erupt, uh, you wouldn't see anything. It's just snow white and it, it's just way too much winter and no way to do anything productive there. <laughs> so, we're going to show you a little bit around downtown Reykjavik. We're close to Hallgrímskirkja here, which are huge church in the downtown of area. You've probably seen this in some photos and or, or if you have been in Iceland, you've definitely seen this. Before we start, I uh, just want to remind you on our sponsors, of course, our wonderful Instuk Brewery. You can find them at instukbeer.is. The last 48 hours we have had 2,427 earthquakes and the last ones have been pretty big. Uh, the biggest one was 5.1, which is not terribly much, but it's, it's quite something. Uh, it, it hit us at uh, 3 uh, in the night, the last night. So it's, uh, nobody really felt that one. <laughs> Uh, nothing to panic about at least, but you feel it. Some people woke up, of course, but not that many. Uh, I was, uh, and also, there was a huge, uh, also, like an earthquake this morning, it was 4.1, and I was at the dentist office with my kids. Uh, thankfully, they were not in the chair when that happened, but, I mean, you can imagine being a dentist in the time of, like this. So, uh, if you're thinking about my backpack, it's because I'll show you later on. I had to take some stuff with me. Hey, Polly, cut. Polly got stuck. Cut it. Cut it, Anna. Uh. Anyways, this path is weird. Just to tell you. What's happening with the volcano is the newest news. We have new satellite images. And that shows us that the magma is now at one kilometer depth, which is, well, quite shallow when it comes to the magma. Like, uh, it used to be at seven kilometers and now it's thrusting up and it's, remember it's, it's like five kilometer long this crack and the, it's, uh, it means that the, like south of it is at one kilometer but the rest is on like from two kilometers to three kilometers but these quakes are of course closely connected to this and it means that the, the magma is trying to like go into the cracks and making this huge tension about it a geologist said last, yesterday in the news at the roof that uh, it's so close to the, to the surface that it's very likely that when the, the, the eruption will go off there will be no indication before, no warning or anything. But the good news is it doesn't really need to be any warning because they think this uh, volcano will be similar to the one that we call Fimmer the House. Uh, it used to be, uh, in, it was it erupted in 2010 and it was uh, close to Eyjafjallajökull and it was a year before the Eyjafjallajökull erupted. But Fimruhals, which is also uh, like the, the, basically the best hiking route in Iceland in my opinion, a little bit hard to, to hike, it's 24 kilometers and you do it in one day. Uh, but this uh, mountain is, uh, there wasn't even a mountain there in, in Fimruhals, we didn't even know that it could erupt at all. But it erupted uh, and it was like a very beautiful uh, volcano, very small, and it became like a sensation in Iceland. Oh, everybody just hiked the Fimir house and, and saw it and, and you could even drive, not up to it, but pretty close. It was also, if you need, need another landmark, it was very close to uh, Thorsmörk, which is a, a magical place in Iceland. Nothing less than that. Uh, also, I, I forgot last time, and when I was watching the video again, I forgot to mention that uh, like when the eruption will begin, when the cycle begins, it's like because we, we've, 
we often fail to think about Earth time, which is very different from uh, our lifespan, of course. So the, the, the cycle will be 200 to 400 years. That means we will have like a, like a lot of uh, like volcanoes, perhaps, but perhaps we will have two in 20 years, then we will have five in 70 years, and uh, so and so on and so on. So, so the, the fourth generation from now on will perhaps be seeing this uh, turmoil over. But between these volcanoes, it will be perfectly fine. So perhaps this will go off and I will not see another volcano in my lifetime. So, uh, so you never kind of know. But we know that the area is where this, and like I explained last time, I mean, these houses are not going anywhere. So of course the situation is like, it could mean that we would have to make other plans, I guess, if, if something will go uh, like different. <laughs> the volcano is uh, is not here yet, of course. Uh, the tremors have been very active. Uh, last uh, last few days, we have had uh, a dozen of very strong earthquakes, and uh, it, it indicates that a lot of things, I mean, could happen. But like everything else, is you never know about this. It, it could also. Another scenario is that it would just go, go cold, the magma, and we, like, like I said last time, we wouldn't have to worry about it for 50 years. Uh, also, uh, and back to COVID. Uh, COVID, like I said, had an odd comeback. There was this uh, individual that came to Iceland from the UK, and he uh, pr proved to be with uh, British brain. And keep in mind, I've seen some comments uh, in our comment section that People are almost apologizing for the UK. You don't need to. It's, it's probably an Icelander. Uh, nobody's really traveling right now. Icelanders travel still a lot, and we, we go a lot to uh, often to the UK. Uh, so it, it seems like from the situation that it, it is as equ equally possible that it was an Icelander. And nobody like messed up here. That's the thing. It's just. Uh, we, underestim we just underestimated the, the threat from the British drain, which is obviously very, very contaminating. But what has happened since, and I, is we have four new cases. That is some much, and we're hoping that uh, it won't be uh, any more than that. Uh, which means that... Uh, Paul is really eager here. Which means that... Uh, that Perhaps we could be quite uh, like optimistic about it. Ah, Jesus. We actually, me, uh, me and Art, we promised ourselves like to do this newscast in whatever the weather would be. But, but Jesus, you can see here that there is rakiness and it's basically just completely white. Not sure if you want to be there right now. And the city area is always the, like at least the downtown area is always the, with the best weather when it comes to wind and so on. But at the moment you go out for, uh, outside Reykjavik, you will find yourself in, in, in trouble even if, if not going careful. But back to COVID. No. There we are. So this, uh, this individual that was working at our hospital and got uh, infected by his neighbor that came from the UK, he went to a concert with this classical superstar called Vikingur Heiðar. And that classical superstar uh, had a concert with 800 people. Sounds quite scary, right? To be with the British train in such a huge populated concert. And I think it was, uh, someone was joking about it was the, the, the largest uh, like concert in the world at the time. <laughs> Not sure if it's true, but it's, it's, a, it's a fun fun point. Anyways, uh, what happened is that everyone that was at the concert yesterday, uh, on, on Friday, sorry, they were tested, of course, for COVID. And nobody has been tested positive from that. There was two that was uh, tested positive. Uh, in, uh, there was a co-worker with uh, this individual working at the hospital. Uh, and there was uh, one pizza delivery guy, which is, yeah, I mean, nobody really knows how that happened. Uh, perhaps he was just delivering a pizza and got it, got it. And that's uh, quite frightening in itself. Yeah. 
So, what we think is that uh, what, what saved the guests at Elborg, uh, Harpa, the, the concert, uh, is, was the mask. Uh, because everybody wore a mask, everybody was seated in, like in numbered seats, and there was of course uh, some, uh, like one seat uh, empty between and something like that. Uh, so uh, it's uh, it's pretty like it's pretty obvious if if everybody would have not have that mask mask on the, in the concert, this would have gone quite bad. Uh, so uh, three thousand people were tested yesterday. No one was tested positive. Almost two hundred people are in quarantine right now, which is high in Icelandic uh, like in Iceland, in Iceland, but not that high. Like since since the beginning of the pandemic, we have had thousands, up to five thousand people, which is like uh, one and a half percent of the nation in in quarantine. Uh, around six percent of the nation have been vaccinated, uh, or already have had the virus, and seven thousand people will be vaccinated this week. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, perhaps this will not change our plans for anything. Uh, we can only hope. The volcano is still like being a drama queen and not not going off like a drama queen should actually do. So uh, we're not sure how that will go, but the, the best news is that the, the volcano will obviously not be that big. Uh, so... Do you want Kako? Art? Is it like this? I have actually something for you. Uh, I want to show you this. Uh, mostly because it's, it's a kind of a nice story. Uh, there is this, this woman in Iceland, uh, she, her name is Becca, uh, or Becca, or whatever. And she actually lost her job as a scuba instructor, uh, I think in COVID. So, what she did was that she started making her own chocolate. The grumpy well hot chocolate. And as you can see, there was obviously some water that went on it. <laughs> Very nice. I haven't tasted it, but it's a shitty weather, so I'm gonna have it have it in my poly cup here. And if, if Art behaves, I will give him also. Ah, uh, need a new up. Oh, there we have it. So, I don't know how this works, but yeah, she, she, came, she sent us an email the other day and she asked us like, hey, do you want to sell this uh, with me or for me? Or? And we said, said, of course, we like, uh, this is for adventures. Like, this, this is definitely an adventure, I guess. Oh, <laughs> there is no way to do this without getting it all over the place. And of course, you can buy a poly mug <laughs> if you want to. This is a wonderful thing. Polly is, is, I don't know if you if you notice, you also she can actually smile, which is can be quite frightening if you do not know about it. So she is, uh, and she loves snow. Uh, that's like her favorite uh, season. If it's a lot of snow, she absolutely loves it. So I will probably need to go back out and and uh, give her some more playtime. Mm. It's good, really good. So they have. A, she has a web page, uh, thegrumpywell.com. Simple as that. Uh, just to like uh, simplify things, uh, what's in news right now? The volcano is not going off, and uh, the fourth wave has not begun. <laughs> so, so it is good news day, I guess. And but we have the the storm and the the hail right now, and you can see the how white everything is. It's basically, at least we have snow again. It was getting a little bit odd to have all of this warm weather and, and no snow. But until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And, and be nice in the comment section. Okay. Uh.